back to more Life is Strange double exposure. Let's see what else we can glean from Gwen's office. We need to get into that uh, drawer, so see if we can figure out how. Okay, and we got new messages, of course. Okay, so I started doing a little digging into the alderman situation and it's already weird. Apparently neither Vermont State nor Lakeport PD have any record of a Detective Vincent Alderman ever. Yeah, I already figured he might be... He could be a private detective. But Yasmin knew about him, didn't she? Oh, that's weird. Okay, yeah, that's odd. How can they have to no say the record least. of him? They sent him. Did he say they sent him? Um, book deal. Gwen cancelled Safi's book because it had insinuated content about Safi's friend Maya, who died by suicide. Um, Moses said that Dr. Gwen Hunter would know more about the Maya situation than I would. I hope he's right. Gwen confirmed that Maya Kata was super close with Safi and that she took her own life. But there's more to the story. Uh, and then Yasmin. Exactly how much does Yasmin know about the Maya Okada situation? Gwen hinted that Yasmin was involved in the aftermath of Maya's death. I should have a chat with the boss. Yes, we should. Uh, I don't think go... Do you think just skipping... Oh, sorry. Skipping to here makes it possible for us to go into the drawer? Possibly? Gotcha. Okay. Oh, we want to read it now. Reading Safi's manuscript after all this feels like... I don't know. Being hit by a tidal wave. A million miles beneath my feet, she lies still in her Sunday clothes. We killed her with our own hands. I mean, our lack of hands. I killed her with my voice. I mean, my lack of voice. Maya's book was like a child or a tumor or a rising beast within her. On the first page, she wrote that she was drowning. And by the time she finished, she was drowned. That is dark. Laws of physics, the drowned always surface. What isn't spoken still exists. You can chop her up and sell her for parts, but her ghost remains whole. Floating there in the corner of my kitchen, giving me that familiar look. The one that says, unstitch the binding, let the pages fall out, fluttering like birds shot down. The one that says, take him for everything he's got, and then some. Hmm. Okay. Whatever happened with Maya was explosive. Let's see what Yasmin has to say about her. Talk to living world Yasmin. Okay, so we need to do that. I just want to check the cross talk again. Sorry for the long waiting t wait times. Isaac and Emily are out sick, so we're a little backed up. Wasn't anticipating this big of a lunch rush. 45 minute wait time? I don't need my coffee that badly. Less posting, more serving. Um. Oh yeah, we probably can't leave that way, huh? I feel like at this point I'm probably missing some stuff because... Would you mind the... closing it behind you, Max? Uh-huh. Because, like, there's so many things to look at that I, I get bored a little bit with it. Even though I'm curious about it, I also get bored with it. Um, so... You know? I don't, I don't know if I should just look at everything again. I just want to get to the story now. Yasmin liked to get coffee here in the afternoon. Before oh. Sophie died. He's telling me Yasmin is, uh... Is around here? Professor Ad. <laughs> or do you want to get a coffee for her? No? Polaroid. Release the crack. Then boom! Con. The spaceship crashes right in the middle of a park, and this alien crawls out of the hatch. That seems like a lot of money for a student project. I'm only gonna shoot the trailer. I figure I can cut costs doing some old school practical effects. Seems like you've got a plan. Still very ambitious. Go big or go home, right? Oh wait, we didn't go I've back to the living. I've been meaning to ask Diamond about. 
Well, that was cut off. Hey, can I ask you about a dead girl, please? Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. Yes, we do. Hi, Yasmin. Maxine, how are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Mm. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. Really? I'm gonna okay. try not to think about that too hard. Yeah, let's not. <laughs> I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. Thank you. Will Gwen be fired? You're in a good mood. Safi lost her book deal. Seen Safi today? Seen Safi today? Have you seen Safi today? No. We're meeting later this afternoon. I can tell her you were looking for her. Yeah, we haven't really talked to Safi. Which I feel like we need to do. You're in a good mood. You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? <laughs> Our ratings are. Kaladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. Okay, the coffee nice. is just so so. <laughs> hmm. Uh, will Quinn be fired? I heard about what happened to Dr. Hunter. Yes. Would you really fire her? That depends on the findings of the committee. It's out of my hands now. Hmm. Okay, Safi lost her book deal. Did Safi tell you her book deal was cancelled? What? No. How... How, uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. Oh, Safia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. Mm. Let's talk about Maya. <laughs> sure. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? You would have, wouldn't you? Yeah. She took her own life. Four years ago. Hmm. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. I think... I think Sophie's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Why? Sophia didn't even know Maya. Okay, so now we're getting into the thick, thick of things. <laughs> sure, thick of it? I don't know. Interesting. Okay, if she didn't know Maya, how would she know Maya? Would she know Maya because Maya had powers? Or Safia has powers? That's where my thoughts are leading me. Did Yasmin just lie to me? I don't think so. Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight mm, to the point. Maybe it's or not. Yeah, should maybe I it's go not along with it? And see what narrative she's trying to spin. Oh, uh, are you gonna give me the... Call her out, go along with it. Call her... Uh... Ooh, this is a 50-50 for me. I'm very, very curious about both of these. The thing is, calling people out for not saying something doesn't always help us in any way. Um, I might leave calling her out for the second playthrough. And I might go along with it for now. Because calling her out, just sometimes people get defensive and they're like, I'm not lying. And then you just don't learn anything else anymore. Uh... I'm probably gonna go along with it then. Uh, of course. I don't know why I thought they knew each other. It's just. What? There's a rumor about Maya. I've heard conflicting opinions. There's a rumor. There's this rumor that something happened with Maya before she died. I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but. But you're Ms. Okada still appears doing it? to have caused herself a great deal of pain. How so? So she had a bad reputation. 
No wonder you didn't want her and Safi associated with each other. <laughs> exactly. Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. Let's stay Shady in that. cow skull throwing Vin is involved? Enough ancient history. I have a favor to ask. Safia's been distant lately. Could you keep an eye on her for me? I would love to, but I'm kind of busy popping in and out of realities. Uh, why me? Are you sure that I'm the best person to... Yes. Because she trusts you. You shouldn't. And because apparently I killed you. your daughter. I... Shouldn't ask yeah. me about this. Sure. Not for this. I'll look out for her. Thank you, Maxine. Oh, the time. Sorry. Let's do lunch again. Somewhere with more atmosphere than the other place. Hmm. That was odd. What did she yeah. mean by Ben's statement? I guess we need to talk to Ben Maybe about I this. Maybe I better talk to Ben yeah. myself. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little annoyed about this back and forth between all these characters. It's a little bit annoying. Hey, Mosa, sorry to bug you, but I had a question about Vin Lang and Maya Okada. Sure, what's up? Ask Mosa about Vin's statement. Okay, so maybe we don't have to talk to them, which is great. Do you know if Vin put out a statement after Maya's death? I didn't see it at the time since I wasn't at Caledon yet, but Safi shared it with me once. Hang on. He said Maya was an incredibly talented writer, but she also had mental health problems. We tried to get her the help she needed, but that didn't work. If we'd known it was as bad as it was, we would have done more. Does that help? It does. Most is your gem. Uh, no. Uh, okay. Is it this one that's new then? Going into them, Yasmin was involved in an aftermath of Maya's death. Yasmin flat out lied about Safi knowing Maya. Something's going on here. Something is definitely going on He's with all of these characters. The building. Talk to him. Okay, so we do need to talk to him. Amanda. Hey, sport. Hey, sport. You're just going to walk past me without saying hello? Well, I didn't see you. Unforgivable. Oh, what a terrible mistake. Whatever shall I do? Oh my god, that sounds so rude, though. Like, that sounds like, oh no, I didn't actually mean to walk past you at all. And just... You know, it seems like she did it on purpose. I'm hurt, but I'm sure you can make it up to me. I'm busy. I'll think of something. Anyway, hi, Amanda. Hi. What are you doing on campus? Sport. Just going on a coffee run. When you could have but better coffee. Your coffee's better at the time. Yeah. This one tastes like ass. Enough about me. What are you doing here? Mm, she might I not be here for the here. coffee. No, no. I mean, I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about? Mm, what are you asking? Why are you making me feel sus? Or were you sus for asking that? I don't know. Um, I don't know if I want to tell her. But just work stuff is it's technically lying and I don't like lying. Well, we might get more answers if we talk about Maya. I was asking her about Safi and her relationship with a student named Maya Okada. Oh. You know something, uh, don't you? It's kind of a long story, but it's for something important. This guy's always falling for you, isn't it? You have no idea. Well, I'll leave you to your something important. <laughs> See you around, Tiger. See you, Amanda. Her whole mood changed. He's probably in the admin building. Yeah, do we want to talk to dead Vin or living Vin? What, uh... Now, Amanda said she came to Callum for coffee and seemed weirdly dodgy when I asked questions about it. Yeah. Yes, she did. Um. Uh, 
Yes, she did. They're making, like, everybody suspicious. <laughs> Who's the least suspicious that the game is putting out there? Because that's probably the person we want to look at. <laughs> I don't know. Alright. I guess we just talked to this Vin. I think I want to look at any Polaroids around. Everybody's nice and cozy. Honestly, this room like reminds me a little bit of a Harry Potter. I don't know. It just gives up cozy vibes. Uh, let's have hey, a chat. Vin. Um, y Yasmin's out right now. Sorry to disappoint. No, you am Unless not her. I'm looking for. You're here for me. I In which is. case, um. I'll do my best to be of service. Uh huh. Do you talk like this to everyone who comes near Yasmin's office? <laughs> I've never I love his character though. I can't defang with a little eyebrow action. Uh-huh. Um, how did you and Yasmin meet? How long have you worked here? Why are these two questions we're asking? How did you and Yasmin meet? Speaking of Yasmin, how did you end up in her good graces? Oh, it's been so long I can't remember. Again, the volume just she changed. She probably saw me in the importance of being earnest my freshman year. Not to brag, but I was kind of a campus sensation as Algernon. So, it had nothing to do with Maya Okada? Very wow. forward of you. You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? You're supposed to talk to me like a human being about what happened with her. What do you need me for, Super Sleuth? You're obviously capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own. Well, this is me digging now, up ancient gossip by talking to you. Excuse me. Gwen's hearing completely scrambled Kahuna's schedule. No casual chats about Maya. Noted. Speak to Dead World Diamond in the admin building. Okay, we'll do. Why is Yasmin? Looks like somebody had their last stand. I have no idea what you were just about to say. <sighs> Diamond does know a lot, though. Uh, you think she's in here? I talk to you about a breakfast and who should be leading it. Waiting until I'm down to try to. Oh, I wanted to. Don't. I wanted to listen in. Mind us, Max. We were just finishing up. Where you know? Then Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume? Hold up. Can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. This probably. This one probably does not want to talk about Maya either. Please. I can't handle the both of you. I'm trying to exploit my weak spots. Did I just witness a failed crown snatching? <laughs> you gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Hmm. Speaking of which, what's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? Yeah. Too? Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he bit into a lemon anytime someone says her name. So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. There's gonna I mean, be a debate at the end of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. Vin usually runs for Abraxas president unopposed. But if I had the right piece of dirt, I bet I could make him step down. I don't know if, if I, I want give Vin her to something step down. juicy and then go to the other timeline. Maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin. Oh God! I guess we have to go through with this. Okay. Vin's covering something for Yasmin. Vin said Maya had mental health problems. I I feel bad about this, but I feel like I'd say Vin said Maya had mental health problems. Because Vin's covering something for Yasmin just doesn't seem like enough. You know? But this just feels very shady of us. Vin gave a statement. 
Where he said Maya had. I guess his information problems, is out there, though. Which may have been true, but I think there's more. What I'm saying is, someone let Maya down really badly. I don't get it. Were Maya and Vin friends or something? I'm not sure, but they definitely knew each other. And Vin gave a statement about her death. What a pompous little piece of shit. Go forth and conquer. Don't go too hard. Don't go too hard on them. Just try not to go too hard on him, okay? He's not in the greatest place. Relax. I'm not Loretta. Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. Pulse in the living world to not going to tell me anything. Yeah, uh, let's have a look at this. Uh, update. I thought I hit a wall in the Alderman mystery, but then I got a single ping for the name Alderman in the Lakeport area. There's a bizarre report from 40 or so years ago about a widow named Miss M Marjorie Alderman who'd be in her late 60s now. I'm still reading through it, and I'll reach out uh, soon once I made sense of it. I'm all ears. Well, let me know what you find out Would and Alderman's be careful. mother know what happened to her son? Believe me, after what we saw up there, I will. Dropping a new episode of Get a Clue in Two Days that digs deeper into the Sophie Llewellyn Fayad case and explores the death of Maya Okada, Sophie's former classmate who also passed away at Caledon. Can't wait to listen. Please be respectful to former students who have passed. Yeah, if I was Sophie's mother, I would be pissed about Loretta just bringing this up all the time. I'm so sorry for your loss, President Fayad. I mean that 100%. This is my way of being respectful. Their stories deserve more attention. I see. I lost two talented students now, both young women who were highly gifted and bold. I don't know what to make of that beyond I should have done more. The other student you mean was Maya, right? She was in my intro class and impressive as hell from day one. I still think of her frequently. Wish I could have met Maya. She seems like such a real one. Diamond knows this Vin's Vin reacts whenever Maya is mentioned. The question we both want to know is why. Maybe the other one has looser lips. If I'm going to listen in on this conversation, I need to cross to the other side. Yeah, we're going, we're going. So now we're in the living world. Okay. I guess we go back here? Or Or do we go to the office? Okay, here she comes. <sighs> but how's she gonna... Did you let a man with a stale cup of coffee in peace? No. Because here's the thing. How's she gonna bring this up? I didn't want to bring this up before. But I know all about the statement you made. About Maya. You told people she had mental health issues. But that wasn't the whole story, was it? That's an extremely fucked it up It is. It is. I expect the head of Abraxas to be Mother Teresa, but they shouldn't be covering up details about someone's death. All right, fine. You want to know what happened? I do. Jasmine told me that if I stated on the record that Maya was troubled, he'd give you a job as her assistant. Okay, we already knew Yasmin did not have a thing for Maya. Like she was extremely, well, not maybe not extremely, but she was very, in a way, when she talked about Maya, not supportive, I should say. And hiding that Safi and Maya knew each other. Interesting. Holy. Maybe because we were fucking friends? I met in one of Colmanero's fiction classes and it clicked. Colmanero. <laughs> Shut up. You wanted a performance, but now you're gonna get one. I grew up with anybody, okay? 
Most kids I count on don't get what that's like. And I'm not fucking stupid, okay? I'm not gonna make it as an actor. So yes, Yasmin promised me a, a stable, respectable job, health insurance. And I took it. And I cared about Maya. And it was a horrible thing to do. And I regretted it ever since. I don't have to bring that up in the debate. Dang. Okay, good. Oh. Like that? I'm sorry, Ben. It doesn't feel very good in the end, does it? Vin met Maya in Lucas's class. And he also knows something about the cow skull through Sophie's windshield, which conveniently made Lucas look guilty. If I can pressure the other Vin. Maybe he'll tell me what the hell is going on here. Speak to the living world, Vin, about Maya. God, this is so complicated in a way. Uh, he looks so composed. Let's hope what I've learned is enough to crack him. Okay, go for it. I know. I don't know, I know if I feel busy. good about any of this. Give me just a minute of your time. This better be worth it. Not for you. Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? Oh, God. Didn't your parents Poor ever Vin. teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? There is a reason. I promise. Please, enlighten me. I'm trying to help myself. I'm trying to help someone. I'm trying to help someone. I'm not going to say it my might not make that's a lot of so... sense, But I'm trying to help someone. And that means learning about Maya. Maya's been dead for years now. She can't help you or anyone else. Just go with me for a second, okay? Okay. All right. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But... This again? That wasn't true, was it? Finn, what really happened? Talk to me, Vin. Ask Lucas Colmanero. Yeah, I, I said Colmanero. If she was he in his class. Maya's blood on his hands. Ooh, okay. You're not saying Lucas No. Not literally, but... Nobody's innocent in this town, I swear. The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Okay. Like, for example, if Sophie suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? No more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. Okay, I mean that does I explain the cost though. I guess I could the, the other secrets I know. Gwen was framed. Lucas filed a restraining order against Safi. You owe me a favor. He, okay, so we can bring up the favor again. You and Safi were together. Wow, we do know a lot, don't we? Oh, all of these are so juicy. Um. Gwen was framed. Lucas filed a restraining order. So tempting to say you and Sophie were together. Honestly, I feel like that's the most juicy. Could go with the favor. But I'm curious about you and Sophie were together. You and Sophie had a thing, didn't you? One information I already know isn't exactly thrilling. Uh -huh. Two. I'm dying to know how you figured that one out. Because I'm confident mm. it wasn't Sophie. I saw a photo on your phone. <laughs> Remind me not to underestimate you. Mm-hmm. All right. So was the cow skull you or not? <sighs> yes. Okay. So why? I mean, you've seen a pissed off Sophie before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I 
seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were what? Protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. And now I really do have to get back to work. Thank you for opening up this much, but though. That's surprising. Caulfield. Uh huh. Whatever the real reason is for you digging up old history, be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. I'm trying, but like Max is digging up so much dirt and making life very tough for a lot of you guys. So I'm not, I'm not making any promises on what Max. You're kidding. Gets up to. How much? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> ha ha. Compare us all you want. Only one Colmenero has a movie deal, and it's not Roberto. Hey, Lucas. Samuel, I'm sorry. Can you please hold? Absolutely not. Out of my office, now. But I... I just shipped my son out of the country because of your little stunt. You think we're just going to go back to being friends? I don't want to be your friend. Blood on your hands. Uh... I feel like I need to be direct with him. I feel like I need to say blood on your hands. Admit it, Lucas. You have blood on your hands. Whatever you think, you know, you'll never be able to prove it. Oh, don't underestimate me. I found now out so out. much already. What the fuck was that? I had information about Maya. I can't prove anything? Whatever happened to Maya, Lucas was definitely involved. Find information about Maya. Do I just switch and try to get into his office? Where's my, uh... Little, uh... Switcheroo. Oh, is this why we need to get the key behind his picture or something? Wait, which side was this office on? No, Lucas. Sounds like a great time to take a look around inside. Doesn't it just? Guess it doesn't lock his office? Okay. Well, I will have a look at everything right. here. Let's see what I can find about Maya. Cross talk again. Uh, Reggie, I keep seeing posts about people breaking into the crime scene. Good fucking luck. Have fun being traumatized for the rest of your life. Yeah, because he saw himself there. Let me apologize in advance for behaving like a hall monitor, but do you need help? Thanks, Dr. Hunter. I'm fine. I'm just being dramatic. Please don't hesitate to reach out if the time comes, and not just to me. Condon's mental health resources aren't as robust as I'd like, but they do exist. Diamond got Vin to confess. Yasmin put him up to lying about Maya in return for his job. But there's more to this. There's definitely more to this. Um, rumor has it was another girl like Haladon who died from parents' suicide. Loretta says that Safi and Maya were friends and think that their deaths are connected somehow. Safi never mentioned Maya. Maya wasn't only Safi's friend who died. She was the entire subject of Safi's book. And Safi was angry about what happened to her. Yasmin was definitely lying about Safi and Maya knowing each other. Why would she deny a friendship that was clearly important to Safi? Because she didn't like Maya, but I don't know why she didn't like Maya. The statement Vin put out after Maya's death blamed her mental health struggles. That would have pissed Safi off. For sure. Uh, Vin and Safi were hooking up and Safi and Maya Kata were very close. Did Vin know Maya too? Gwen said Vin used to follow Safi and Maya around like a puppy dog. And then Yasmin would have more info. According to what Moses texted me, Vin's statement claimed my death was due to mental health issues. So why all the secrecy? Holy shit, Vin issued the statement at Yasmin's urging to secure his position as her assistant. Um, Yasmin had Vin do a PR spin on my death that was worth enough to her to land him a job. So what was he covering for? Yeah, uh, it's uh, curious, isn't it? Guess normal drip just doesn't cut it for Professor Colmanero. Pull it right again. Oh. Okay. How'd they get in here? Jesus, some of these items are priceless. 
I've got a lot on my plate. I don't need this right now. Where the hell's Yasmin? Where's security? Pretentious, shiny, and probably hasn't typed a word in years. Kind of like mm. Lucas. I don't know. Ah, uh, sure. The Shoals Award for Literary Excellence. They're handing out typewriters now for writing books? Do you have something for me, Mr. Filing Cabinet? I don't know, let's see. These folders are all from this year. Mm. I doubt I'll find anything about Maya. Would you file what I did to Maya under W or... Still don't think we'll... We'll probably That's need that junk. key. But maybe what I need is somewhere in there. A key to get into a drawer or something. Hmm. It's a lot of stuff. Um, oh. That could definitely be Maya Okada. Can't believe the, Lu the Lucas Comanera wants to be my mentor. Going to bring in what I have so far tomorrow. I'm a little stuck on where to go next, so maybe you can help me brainstorm. Excited to see what you think. Thanks again, Emma. Could be. Maybe he reads it for the articles. Maybe. Oh, why were Lucas and Maya meeting so much? This oh, don't tell me they had a thing. What happened at my high school? One time was far too many. An hour, an hour, an hour. Exactly the same time. Three thirty to four thirty. Sus. Of course, Lucas is the type of asshole that makes you buy his own book for class. Kevin uses a zero tolerance policy for play. Pl Plagiarism. Pl plagiarism? Well, this at least confirms Maya took his class. Safi, Maya, and Ven. Enrolled students. I didn't realize just how much Lucas's book has resonated with people. Dear Professor Comanera, I'm writing to tell you that the Caledon Book Club is going to be reading Wilder Beasts than these for the month of March. I read it last summer and absolutely fell in love with it. I think it's probably my favorite book now. And I want to share that experience with the rest of the group. While there beasts in these means a lot to me, especially as a Latina. I don't get to see myself represented much in the media, so Carolina's story is pretty near and dear to my heart. It would make my year if you come to the book club meeting on Tuesday. I was thinking you could be here while we discuss the book and maybe do a small reading for us. Excited to hear your reply. Okay. Interesting, though. Mm. Don't think I've ever seen this sort of tree in the wild. Hmm. <laughs> Poor devil. Banished to the hell from whence he came. Yeah, are we going... Yeah, we're doing his desk now. Hmm. Seems like at least one student remembers Lucas fondly. It's been years, and you probably don't remember me, but I was hoping you'd do me the favor of being the first one to read this. My publisher would go crazy for a blurb, but that's not what's important. You inspire me so much as an undergrad, I just want you to tell me your thoughts. Okay. Surely there's something good in here. Uh, maybe. I want to check out. I, I think, you know, the, the Googling that I did said something that about his photo, but World's I'll wait okay with it a little bit. Dad. Might be the first time Lucas didn't oversell himself. Looks like a fun read. I didn't know Lucas did fun. Hmm. Ah, uh, okay, photo. That's probably his ex-wife. 
They look really happy here. New message from Moses. Wait, is there something with this or no? Oh, underneath probably, yeah. What a strange place to find a key. Must be significant. Mm-hmm. Well, let's check our messages first. Wait, what was our task? Talk to Vin in the admin building? Didn't we already do that? Hmm. Uh, the f what? I'm still reading. Uh, believe me after what we saw there. Well, the official report was that Marjorie Alderman was diagnosed with severe abdominal pains. A psychosomatic response to the overwhelming grief stemming from the death of her husband. Jesus. I know. Detective Vince Alderman was never born and never existed, but the residue remains at the margins. What? Scientist in me is curious about how, the how of it all, but the black guy in the horror movie in me says it's better to leave this particular thread alone and the latter one out. Diana was some mer- What? That's smart. Detective Vince Alderman was never born and never existed. It's probably the best course of action and if thank you Alderman Moses for everything. Never existed. How the hell do Moses and I remember him? It's science. I had to check. Just wish we could tell Sophie about this wild shit. So do I. We need to figure this out before what happened to him happens to someone we care about. So like, he's, he dis, dis, uh, he disappeared from existence? He was never born or never remembered by anybody? Uh, it's, that's complicated. Oh, sorry. I didn't move my camera. Um, okay, but I'm curious, why do I still need to talk to Vin? Hopefully, opening this lock doesn't take away that opportunity. Okay, there's a drawer over here, and there's a drawer in the other one. Doesn't fit. Yeah, okay. Try this one. Nope. Might be something behind somewhere, you know? Oh, no, it's probably this. Good place to hide something, you know? Magazine somewhere he would hide something. A million miles, miles beneath my feet. That's not what I was expecting. Wait, a million miles beneath my feet? I know this. Maya wrote this. Th this isn't in his book, is it? He didn't take her writing and put it in his book, did he? Something less poignant, more metaphor. In that city, the beast rose and stared into me. It became me. I'd always been the beast. But that was later, now I was trembling, freezing cold on a January morning. I took a step towards the moving truck, glanced back at the people, gathered on the curb, and instantly understood what it felt like to drown. My parents were looking at each other, and Obasa was looking at the ground. An outsider might see this as obstinance, disapproval at my departure, but I knew they'd been crying, and they didn't want me to see. These people own my soul, I thought. Separating from them was like trying to breathe water. All I could do was thrash. Eighteen is too young. Hana is only a girl, Obasa said over dinner the night before, talking about me like I wasn't there. She's American, said my father, like that explained it. We're all American now. All of us except my brother Kaito. He had his job in Tokyo. Not even wild horses could drag him from Japan. Those same wild horses that took me from the only home I have ever known across 200 miles of highway to a city with a beast at its center, where inside that labyrinth, the people who owned my soul would have, have it torn away from them. This notion of displacement would translate no matter the country. I do not understand any of that. Do you? Come on, there's gotta be a copy in here. Maybe ten of them. <clears throat> so, so it is in his book. Holy shit. It's the same. Uh... Okay, so he changed names. 
Abuelita. Mm hmm. Agent Studio and Caroline is only a girl. Abuelita said of dinner. She's American. Chile, yeah. Finn was right. Lucas does <laughs> have blood on his hands. That is crazy. That is crazy from Lucas. Read all staff books. This is what I've been missing this entire time. Dang, I dang, have to talk dang. To what the hell, Colmanero? That Sophie, is crazy. Hey. hey. Stay strong, Habibti. You know where to find me. What's up, Sophie? Are we finally gonna have a little bit more of a talk? It's been a while. Is something wrong? Oh, you want to talk to me now? Oh, I've you're angry at me? nothing to say to you. What happened? Sophie, what? Did you spread my business to someone else? Dig up a couple more clues? Shit. She. I mean, we already knew how much she appreciated her secrecy. So if she found on me trying to figure stuff out about her, yeah, I would be pissed too. Because that means I'm overstepping boundaries, right? So it's only fair. Knows I've been asking questions. She just doesn't I'm know that sure I'm doing it because she dies in the other or died. Reason. Oh, you have a good reason. Well, in that case, maybe what's not your in front of Vin. Max. Maybe not in front of Vin, cause uh, I'm trying to help you. I can't tell you. Ugh. I both are wrong, but I'm saying I'm. I can't tell. Can't tell you. I actually can't oh, tell that's fair. you right now. Yeah, of course you can't. Great, fucking sick, Max. Yeah. I don't have the energy for this. Okay. I think you should leave me alone for a while. Wow. Maybe a long while. Wow. Okay. Isn't that a little bit too far? But maybe it's just in the heat of the moment, you know, you say something like that. Hey, back to the blue hair. Let's go. Hmm, this isn't easy, is it, Max? Nobody likes us. That's what you get, though, for digging into everybody's dirt. <laughs> I spent so many nights like this when I was on the road. Diners, bars, hotels. I liked being alone then. At least, I think I did. Sometimes you need to be alone. Chloe's probably partying. She'd pick up from me. Yeah, can't we hear Chloe's voice? It's not up to her Jeez. to take care of me anymore. Also, I didn't think about that, but the blue hair and Chloe's I blue hair. I can't just sit here feeling sorry for myself. I need some company. I could ask Amanda to help me drown my sorrows. Mm. All right, well, let's take a look at the journal again. December 7th. There are a lot of creeps in the world, and Lucas Colmenero is one of them. He acts like he's dignified, but he's a user. Jefferson was all charmed too, until he wasn't. He was so menacing when he kicked me out of his office. I'm glad I sent Safi that restraining order. Who knows what Lucas is capable of? I feel sorry for Robbie to have such an asshole for a dad. I feel sorry for Safi too. So many people failed her, including me. Uh... Oh yeah, okay. Did uh, so we might have missed speaking to Vin in the admin office, but I guess we didn't have to. Speak to a man in the living world. Speak to Vin in the dead world. Leave the bar in the living world. Okay. So I guess it's just like a moment here. <laughs> So, any idea what you're God, I can't believe it's almost December. It's gonna go so fast. Are gonna improve this mood of mine. Polaroid. I said pink concert. You know, I'll admit, 
I don't really see too many live performances. And we're going to correct that immediately. If you want to get to know me, music is a surefire way to do that. Oh, well, in that case, I'll bring a notebook. Take notes. Excellent. Write this down. Uh, does comedy, enjoys live music, super cute. That last one's important. I feel like you've done this before. What's but I'm also so some Amanda now because of her reaction. Not definitely there. Last time. And mysterious. Hoping you can help me fill it out a little more. I love whoever did this art. So cool. Alternate Max looks like she's having a blast. <laughs> Wanna swap places? Looks like nobody's having a great night. Hey, Max. Hey. Oh, fuck. That's about the level of greeting I'm expecting at this point. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You okay? Everything's fine. She fell in love with the wrong person. Reggie, what happened to the bro code? Max is a bro. Oh, thank you. You ever have a thing for the wrong person? Apparently. Who hasn't? Show me someone who hasn't, and I'll show you a liar. Or however that saying goes. That's deep, Max. I didn't think I wanted anybody before. Reggie says I should move on, and he's right. I just... I haven't felt this way about anyone, ever. No, I guess that happens. I don't know if I will again. I guess that's what people always question. Um, your time, I mean, I mean, both of these advices are good, you know? I don't know. Give it time. Give yourself some time. Life has a way of surprising us. I'm really on so right. much right now. <sighs> I've actually been getting decent sleep. Cross dog post. I wish Sophie gave me a moment to explain. Uh, alright, let's take a look at this first. The only thing I wanted for Christmas this year was to introduce my baddie BF to my friends at Krampus, but I don't think Santa can do it. Um, Moses, I said I would try and you know me, you know I tried, I just couldn't make it work this time. Oh, I know, I wasn't calling you out, boo. I was feeling some type of way and wanted to be sad on main as all. Well, you're right to be sad because I'm a 10 on my worst day. Your coworkers wouldn't know what to do with me, you rarely do. I'll be at Krampus, so I'll keep you company if you're down. Okay, and then some people perform friendship, but if they were true friends, they'd respect your boundaries. True, but people make mistakes. Don't be too quick to give up a friend. Agreed. Sometimes people do stupid stuff. Uh, I don't know if it would have changed anything to say that I I'm, I was doing it for her because you know. Okay, so we have Gwen and we have Amanda. I kind of feel like we need to talk to Gwen. Hey, Gwen. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know, I keep showing up, huh? I'm sorry to bother you, but... <laughs> I really it back. think you should take a look at the footage. It's weird. Like, game-changingly weird. I think you should fight this. Oh, okay. okay. Anything no, else? I'll leave, I'm leaving you alone. Oh, that's all. Um, I'm leaving you alone, Gwen. Oh, Don't be mad at me. Take care. Okay. That was good. That, I appreciate that. Just talk to me, Sophie. Tell me what's happening. I did not speak for so long that my tongue rotted, but my teeth got sharp. So, can you call me back, please? Uh, picking up a Uranus for Sangria makes me think about a friend who used to get wasted and try to get us to break into abandoned buildings. Wherever you are, I hope there's plenty of derelict bowling alleys. Mao, who is this? You don't know her. I think this is more reflective on your Sangria than anything else. My Sangria whips. This is who I think it is. I wish we had broken into somewhere with her. Me too. Uh, okay, so... 
uh, tasks. Speak to Amanda, speak to Vin in Dead World. Uh, sure, we'll speak to Amanda first and then Vin, I guess. Hey. Hey, sport. Working hard or hardly working? Sport? You cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. The old sports. Other timeline her. Anyway. It's finals week, isn't it? Yeah, it gets confusing. No I know, Max. Come in here lately has that same frazzled look. A drink to ease your troubles. Shot. Yes, please. please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Or a sickly sweet rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste? Uh, neither? Can I just get a like sour drink or something? Cocktail or something? I guess grandma's you know liquor. If it's not cloyingly sweet, I can't drink it. Have you ever tried Amaro? It's this sweet liqueur. It tastes like a whole herb garden went on a week-long bender. Great. Now I'm depressed and scared. How are we feeling now? Like... Like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom. But then I realize I'm still falling. <laughs> that is dark. You are such a disaster. <laughs> oh. God, I certainly have a type. <laughs> That's funny. I can fix her. You need more than a drink. Mm -hmm. Let's hang. Um, you won't get in trouble. Don't you have a bar to tend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. Remember that date we were gonna go on? No. Yeah. What do you say we have that date now? Now? What are we gonna do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always pretend. I guess. I guess. I feel Bitch, like you need to- Shut your dumb eyes. Good. Uh, hold one ear closed though, because of the music in the bar. We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the rat hole. Hey, that's a sick blue board. color. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. The place is <sighs> We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back. Oh my god, I need to stop doing and that. Eddie waves I can't lean on this of side of the chair. Merch. It's so short. Uh, Granite Joe... Granite Joe? Sorry. Did you say someone called Granite Joe is out back smoking up? I take you to meet Granite Joe. Dude's a sweetheart. Very generous with his blunts. And do you partake? I am an adult taxpayer, mm. so yes. And then I hand the blunt to you. Well, I don't want to be rude. Mm. Fake blunt? Take a puff? Sure. Back to Granite Joe. You try to, but Granite Joe has wandered off. You now have one blunt. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. Careful. The stairs are steep. <laughs> oh my god. Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary, kill. Okay. The mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Oh, uh, let's watch. Let's thrash. 
Let's thrash. Let's thrash. Okay. Let's pretend you said something normal, but basically that. <laughs> we throw ourselves into the crowd. <laughs> I don't know if I could pretend like this. I think I'm too stuck up. No. <laughs> Maybe in my own living room. To be fair, but... I probably immediately get a black eye. Oh, then I fight us away back to the bar and get you an ice pack. <sighs> <sighs> I only need one eye to see the show anyway. <laughs> hey, the singer. Is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. <laughs> she sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. I catch her, nobody catches her. I catch her. I run over to the spot where she would land. Oh, wait. Don't you have an ice pack in one hand? Oh. I throw it away? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, she oh. falls anyway. Shit. I hope you're prepared for what happens next. Don't tell me that the singer, that she... Stone Cold dead on the floor. Uh, okay. But don't worry, this is how she would have wanted to go out. Oh. Before we leave, we each receive an invitation to her Viking funeral. Uh. Okay. That was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or, like, talked about. Told you it'd be worth it. And you're walking away with. Let's see. One half smoked blunt, some bruises from moshing, and an invitation to a Viking funeral. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. If that was That's just a dry run, imagine what the real revenge horse show is gonna be like. It's been a buck wild thing. But it's nice having one person who likes I mean, me, I guess. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow my existence will make things worse for everyone around me. That is also very dark. You keep saying that about your day. What happened? Although this Amanda isn't the one that was weird, because that was the sport Amanda, right? So maybe this Amanda is good. Why Though, so nice? Max did say that the only difference between these two timelines is that Safi's gone. So... But then again, Lucas's family relationship was different in these two timelines, so... Thanks to me. I don't know. Shit. I'm doing it again. What? My therapist says I latch on to people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? No. That would be hot? No, please don't. <laughs> At this point, you saying one mean thing would make me dissolve into a puddle of tears. Hey. I have never made a girl cry on a first date before, <laughs> and I don't want to start now. Good. Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. You're not saying I'm... You're literally in my bar talking about yourself. Hurricane. Like you're a category five. Oh, are we getting a choice between kiss and don't kiss? No, they're gonna take it away. Sorry. I'm not feeling. Sorry. I'm not feeling their relationship as a romantic. Um, I don't know. I'm just not feeling the connection all the way there. I'm feeling Amanda has a thing for Max. I'm not feeling that Max really has a thing for Amanda. Um, 
Yeah. Do some feeling more friendship no. here. No. I really, really want to kiss you. Um, it's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me. And I need to know I'm not just projecting. Yeah. Max, what are we gonna do so, here? You kiss me first. Oh, this this hurts, man. Because I've been trying not to lean into this relationship since the very beginning. Like I, I was like open to it, but I was also like unsure about it. But like I really and also, I'm suspicious of Amanda, which doesn't help. To sport Amanda, I just... After that, I... I, I really don't know if I want to trust her. Because I feel like she's gonna... If there is something weird, she might break our heart. Um, but also, like, I feel like Max needs somebody like this. But I do think Max is a little bit emotionally unavailable. Not because she doesn't maybe want this relationship, but, but she she's so focused on other things. I don't feel like it's very respectful towards Amanda. Because Max is all over the place right now. And she... I don't want Amanda to be all there for me and not me being there back. You know, I don't feel like it's fair for this relationship. Um, We might have to try this relationship on the next playthrough. Because I don't, I don't think this is fair for Amanda. Like, I don't want to pretend and, not, and be a bad girlfriend, you know? I feel like I would be a bad... Or Max would be a bad girlfriend right now. But this, this just sucks. It feels really, really bad. But it's better to do it now than to pretend. I'm really sorry, Amanda. I don't think I can. See? I like you a lot, but my life is in shambles. Yeah, exactly, right now. exactly what and I'm saying. It wouldn't be fair to bring you into it. I also don't want to hurt Amanda down the line either. You're right. Even though I wish you weren't. Maybe another time we can make this work. Maybe. Yeah. Another time. Well, I should get back to it. Yeah. Thank you for everything. I feel slightly less dead inside. My dumbass would do it again, too. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we still have, uh, been in a dead world so we're gonna have to find our uh, our little portal you can't be a bot where would Ven be at new message from platypus all right this was cute but where's the unsubscribe button um, ancient platypuses are believed to have been around three feet in length, a whole yard of platypus. That's double the size of the modern descendant, big if true, and if it is, big and true. <laughs> okay. Anyone else going through it right now, or just me? Because in a word, bra. Oof, I know that bra, what's their name? Thanks, Reggie, but it wasn't a breakup, bra. It was a uh, still thinking about what happened to that girl, bra. Gotcha. If, well, if you ever want to talk about it. Um, this is all I want to say about it for now, but thanks. Okay, cool. Alright, is this Ven? 
Hey, man. Do you want to talk to Max? I come here often. <laughs> Probably too Making often. Making your day worse, you know. Join me. Sure, I'll have another drink. Help oh, yourself. Huh? <laughs> that is a big bottle. Big glass. It's not as big as it sounds like. These glasses are very see through. <laughs> <laughs> Rough day. You too, Everybody huh? He hates me. I'm annoying. I'm bothering. You're, you're everyone. breaking people's boundaries left and right. Colleagues, Moses, Toffee. Toffee used to get pissed at me too. Yeah, we're in the dead world right now. Are you crazy? Toffee was obsessed with you. She would talk about you all the time. I was always jealous. I like I mean, Vin. Um, Don't hurt yourself. I know about you and Toffee. Well, I should have told you. Well, Safi didn't want to tell me, so why should you? It's your secret. It's fine. Literally. There's been a lot going on. And it's not like we're besties or anything. I wasn't her boyfriend or anything. And it ended a while ago, but... I guess I had this idea that we'd make up eventually. Hmm. <laughs> uh, any other deep, dark secrets you've disinterred from my past? Yeah, I don't think you want to know, buddy. I know what happened to Maya. <laughs> Christ, Max! I was joking. Poor boy. And I know what you did after she died. Oh god, you're just laying it all out there. Wow. I was young. I was an asshole. And you still might be I a little bit of an asshole. Didn't want to end up working at my parents' liquor store until they shriveled up and died. Yeah, I'm not mad at you about it. Does the past version of you ever feel like... Mm. I don't know. An alien? The shit that person cared about is so worthless. You can't even remember being them. I don't know. I feel really sad about Ben. Like, it feels like Ben feels a little bit alone right now. You know? I get it. That sounds like a shitty spot to be in. Especially right out of undergrad. Right? Here I was with the chance to be uh, salaried, health insured, even fucking 401k'd. And all I had to do was talk shit. Which I'm good at. Hmm. Sorry to bring down the vibes. <laughs> I need to be more drunk. Mm, it might be bringing down the vibes further, because, you know, you open up and if that's all you're thinking about. See, you made yourself up. right at home. I blame Vin. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Wait, oh. this. You hitting that? This is sport. What? Oh, no. Dead World Amanda is sport. I mean. We were. God, I'm so talking. confused, man. And then Sophie happened. And I guess Amanda didn't feel like I could hack it. Which I don't think you could. That's kind of whack. <laughs> She's probably right. She's cute, but a, a little too principled for me, even discounting her utter lack of interest in my gender. Hey, principles mm. can be hot. Uh -huh. I'm serious. I will write you an essay. <laughs> Passion? It's very sexy. No, <laughs> no, you're right. Passion is sexy. 
like your buddy. The big guy with the telescope. Moses? Moses? Once, I asked him how his day was going, and he explained to me the double slit experiment. <laughs> Okay, buddy. It was weirdly hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh I cannot God. envision you wouldn't. and Moses, He's my but friend. okay. This would be extremely friendly. Moses, smash or pass? You can smash all you want. I don't think Max views him. I'm gonna pa I don't think Max views him like He's that. He's a friend. It'd be too weird. More for me. Yeah. You enjoy. I'll say this for Caledon. <laughs> It's got a high ratio of fuckable faculty. Mm. Dr. Hunter, for instance. Now there we're talking. I, 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 Gwen is extremely hot. What do you want from me? Let's just say I was a little disappointed when I found out she had a wife. <laughs> you never know. Her wife could be down too. Oh my god, <laughs> dude. Uh. Professor Colmanet. Ew. No. no. He sucks. Yeah, I'm Does out of that. Oh my god. Man. You suck. <laughs> hey, I'm just I'm just trying to think of people we both know. Lucas. Smash or pass? Uh, that's an easy one. Pass. All the way. Pass. He's a dick. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and yet, I've put up with worse for less. Okay, <laughs> dude, what you put up with is oh, your business. This is smash or pass, not have a healthy, long-term relationship in two and a half kids or pass. And it's true. If you want to marry them, just... True. Just... I understand, but... Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, my turn. Yes, me. No, that's just Oh my unfair. god. No, oh that's my... not unfair. Because then I'd have to admit just how hot my blind authority figures. Ooh, so you'd smash. Unsurprising, yeah. I am incredibly unshocked. Yeah. 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 What about me or Max? Would you smash? Fine. My turn again. Let's see. Who do we Sophie? Both? No. <laughs> no. My students yeah. are off limits. Yeah, that's too well, weird. As I am one at Caledon and two not oh my God. Which This is not happening. Students. Come on. So? About me, Miss Caulfield. Where do I fall on the binary? Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't! I can't! I can't! This is way too fun! No! I, I, da, da, guys! Guys, what do I do? Like the last two episodes, he's made himself so much more likable than he was in the beginning. I'm not saying I would smash, because I, you know, I'm very boring. But he's very charming right now, and they're both drinking. And Max doesn't want to go into a commitment with Amanda. This feels rude to do in front of Amanda, though, by the way. But, but also, isn't it weird, because Vin and Sophie were a thing. And Vin wanted to get back with Sophie, but Sophie's dead, so... Oh, this is all kinds of messy. I do not think anybody should do this. But I really, really want it right now. Oh, this is so not like me. Normally, I would probably just pass, but... Why do I really want to lean into this? I want them to have a one night stand. But like, I have messed with him so much. How does he even want to do this with me? Like I've brought up so many of... Oh my God, oh my God. I can't believe this, this, this is happening. I, I, I gotta, I, I gotta do it. I don't know, it's just so fun. 
Whatever, I'm drunk. <laughs> Why is this so fucking fun? This is so bad. A man is in the background. Oh, damn. I guess they both need something to take their minds off things, right? They're just... I, I, it's... This feels so Please, wrong. Oh. I really... <laughs> Shook us. Just thanks. <laughs> oh my god. This is when the game got good. <laughs> okay, so they just did a kiss. Dang, they didn't even... Okay. I'm saving the world. I'm saving the world, man. <laughs> Would you be willing to believe I need to go save the world? Not as a general rule. But who knows with you, Max Caulfield. Oh my god. Oh my god. You liked it a little too much, didn't you, Max? Take it easy, Max. Yeah, you too, buddy. I better cross back over in case Sophie is cooled off and is trying to reach me. Yeah. Okay. God, we really need to wrap up this episode. It's way too long oh, right damn. now, but... Reggie's gone. I hope he's doing okay. Wait, you think the game saved? The game might have saved. I really, I really need to wrap this up right now. Ah, oh, I want to play more today, but, like, I can't. I can't. Oh! Let's say I Just mean, one for the road. Sorry I don't need to kiss and run, Ben. Oops, I didn't. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. Why can I never take the photo the right way? My own color, Ben. It was a bad photo. Uh, anyway, yeah, we need we need to wrap it up here. Okay, kissing Vin was not on my bingo card for this episode. Why was that so much fun to me? I don't know. He just really suddenly got very charming. But I do not think Max and him is a good match for anything long term. But sometimes you guess you just gotta have some fun, right? Sometimes you just gotta lean into the fun, and I guess we did. What else happened this episode? Why can't I remember anything other than just that end? Wow. Okay, okay, this game just got really, really juicy. I, th I thought that was, that was so much fun. I guess we'll find out more stuff next time uh, and probably have a chapter end. Again, I don't know how many chapters there are. Should we check? Okay, so there are, I mean, I know I'm looking that way, but it's this way, but um, there's five chapters. All right, that's good to know. I thought there would be because the way the the rate that things have been going, I didn't think we would wrap everything up because I think chapter three would end soon. And then, yeah, I don't. So we got two chapters. Oh, that's so exciting. So exciting. <gasps> Man, okay. That, that just like, okay, the last two episodes, I feel like heightened the game a little bit. I'm still thinking there's too many crosstalk stuff. There's, there's just a lot of reading and I'm also thinking I'm missing more stuff the last two episodes because I have not been going around looking at everything because I'm starting to get bored with it and I just want see th like this moment with Vin is something that's more fun than just looking at all of these things all of these documents and and pa paintings and stuff and I appreciate those things in the game but it's a I just want the juicy stuff you know I just want the juice and I want more smash and pass talk I don't know, man. Uh, this, okay, this was really fun, though. I, I really enjoyed that, and I do hope you did, too. But we're wrapping it up here, so if you enjoyed this video, you can always like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye!